Union Parish teen is giving back to the community through her own ministry. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi joins us now live in the studio with more and has the story. That's right, guys. Well, 17 year old Serenity Soto has helped hundreds of families throughout Northeast Louisiana and other neighboring states. I spoke to her about her mission in the community and what motivated her to create her own ministry. Serenity was born with a heart condition. Growing up, she spent most of her days going in and out of the hospital, but that didn't stop her from volunteering and serving her community. At the age of nine, she decided to create her own ministry by giving out gift bags to the people that stayed at the same hospital that she stayed previously in. I love kids, so, and it's something about how pure they are in almost every aspect that I love about them. That makes me feel good because I know what I'm doing, uh, how it feels to be on the other side. But she wasn't on this mission alone. Her and her older brother Adam shared the same passion for serving their community. Uh, we originated giving gift bags to uh, kids in the hospital because me and Adam know how that felt when people came in and gave gift bags. Adam was born without an esophagus. He also spent days and months at the hospital. He died in August of 2022 at 30 years old. Serenity says her brother is still her biggest motivation. I mean, yeah, most definitely this is a project that, um, that was already uh, set when he was alive a few months before um, he passed. Before he passed, people had come to me, you know, through the years and said, you know, if it wasn't for talking about Adam, I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have felt the way I do now because we saw him struggle. And when we thought we were having the bad days, we would look at him with a vein tube and going around like he had nothing. Serenity's Give Back Ministry and community projects have helped local families in need, especially those who lost it all due to the tornado damage this past December. And I know God will place people in my life to help me get through this. She loved cooking. Her mom loved cooking. And she'll call and say, I got this. Do y'all want some? Sure, why not? Why not bring it? Because I've been doing that for a long time. Serenity's efforts to bring a smile to those in need have crossed borders. Knowing her brother will always watch over her, she says she wants her ministry to grow. Well, I wanted to expand into different areas and for me to have that capability of it expanding uh, further than it is currently. Now, Serenity will be hosting a fundraiser donation drive this Saturday, May 6th at the downtown Hurt Fried House for the park in memory of her older brother. Now, proceeds will go towards community projects and the Ronald McDonald House in Birmingham, Alabama, where she spent most of her time with her brother. Now, for more details, you can visit myarclements.com. Reporting live in the studio on Valerie Moravi for your Arclements news source. All right, thank you, Valerie. Well, Annie Broadway.